We are the Fennels, by the way. And we are a wedding photography and film company and a husband and wife team as well, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> but we thought we'd share with you some tips that are going to make your day, your wedding day, the best day ever and uh, also save you some money as well. And time. One of the tips on the morning to save time and stress is pack your overnight bag the day before because when you're in your wedding dress, you're not going to be in a position to be running around packing up bags. And it's one of those things where you can do the day before and it's one less thing to do on the morning because really on the morning, you want to enjoy the morning, savor the morning and not be under too much pressure. So on the morning of your wedding, make sure that you are not the last person in the chair to get your makeup and hair done because we can get gorgeous photographs of your hair just done and makeup on and your dress on nice and fresh before you leave to go to church these are like really nice photographs absolutely the last thing you want to be doing is in the chair into the dress and out the door yeah. you want to have a moment have a glass of champagne sit back take it all in while all the bridesmaids are running around crazy <laughs> yeah. another great tip is try not to be too late for your ceremony fast to be late is okay but just remember whatever time you lose there being late is going to have a knock-on effect so going to be time lost at your drink reception. And also we see sometimes the bride arrives on time, but what happens is someone says, oh, but not all the guests are here yet. The, the church isn't full. So they end up waiting in the car for another half an hour. Don't bother doing that. Get up to the church door because there will be a few photos to be taken before you walk up the aisle and guests will always be late. So don't bother waiting. So one of the questions that comes up from time to time is whether to greet your guests after the ceremony or not. Well, it is a good question, but the thing is it takes about 10 seconds per person and 160 people takes about half an hour, 35 minutes. So is it time worth spent? But here's the other side of the coin. You've got your hair perfect, your makeup is ideal, and now you've got 150 people kissing you on the one side. And then they're gonna put the makeup on his suit as well. So <laughs> is it worth doing? For a lot of reasons, I think it's not worth doing because you do save time and it will give you more time at your drinks reception later on. You get asked all the time about speeches. How long should they be and when is the best time to have them? Speeches before or after the meal is generally the norm. I find before the meal is best because people are hungry so they don't waste time. They're a good speech but they're not too long. Between the courses is not ideal because they always go too long. So don't put them between courses and chefs don't like it because if they go on too long, the dinner can get a little bit ruined. How long should they be? Well, five minutes per person is generally the norm and 10 minutes for the best man. But if you think of it, if they all did 10 minutes, that would be 40 minutes if it's four people speaking. So you can work out the maths on that one. Great system on how to save money while you're planning for your wedding is? Absolutely, it's a priority list. Put what you really want at the top of the list and what you least want at the bottom and work it out in the order of priorities. And then when something might take a bit more investment like that band that you really want, but they're expensive, well then you knock something from the bottom and put the money invested in what's at the top because you you do get what you pay for at weddings and you don't want to skimp on what's important to you because it's the little things that tend to rob the budget. So that's all the tips for today. If you want to see more tips and behind the scenes of weddings and lots more good stuff, head over to our Instagram at thefennels.ie.